Welcome to Nutrition and Meal Planning Online for the fall semester. My name is Michelle Riley and I will be your instructor for this course and I wanted to do a quick welcome video to walk you through what you can expect from this online course. So first I want to start off with the syllabus for this course and if you click on the syllabus tab here you'll be able to pull that open. I already have it up for us. Um, and I always like to walk through the syllabus on the first day of class and since you guys are all online virtually out there I wanted to go ahead and still do that in a video so you can um, ask me any questions uh, in email so you, you feel like you've got a good uh, understanding of what's going on with this class. So uh, again my name is Michelle Riley. Um, I am a registered dietitian. I studied nutrition and uh, biology and science in my undergrad and then uh, my master's degree is where I did a lot of most of my work to become a registered dietitian and studied public health nutrition and I am currently a PhD student finishing up my uh, PhD in medical nutrition sciences as well so I really enjoy nutrition I really enjoy teaching this class I think it's great to understand the basics of nutrition um, there's so much information about nutrition out there so I like kind of clearing up some of the the cloudiness um, and giving you guys some tools to, to understand really what is good information. So I'm really excited to have you guys all this semester. You can see my contact information there, my phone number, my email. Um, it's My preferred contact method is email. Um, I can only return your phone calls when I'm sitting in my office and a lot of times I'm in the classroom or maybe in meetings or working off campus. So um, while certainly I'm happy to chat with you on the phone, um, Email is probably the best way to get a hold of me. Um, I also have a Zoom uh, access as well. And so if you want to have uh, any discussions, anything like that, questions you want to ask me um, over the kind of virtual Zoom, uh, we can certainly do that as well. Um, again, this is an online course, so it, this will, of course, never meet on campus. You are not required to, to come to campus. Um, for the textbook, and this is the first time I'm using this, so please bear with me. Uh, I mean, I've used the textbook, but this day one access is what I am new to as an instructor. Um, but I'm very excited that hopefully it's easy for you guys to, to get in that. So um, if it doesn't quite work on day one, let me know. We'll get it, we'll get it going um, by Tuesday at the latest. But what you should be able to do, and I'll show you this um, in a second, is just log into Launchpad. Um, you'll have to create an account but you've paid the course fee and that in includes your access to the ebook and Launchpad where we'll have some assignments and things like that. If you prefer a printed version of the textbook, you can purchase a supplement um, of the printed pages. You do have to put it in a binder yourself, but it's um, the printed version and it's about 19 or $20 last time I, I looked. So if that is something that you're interested in um, and you like the printed version better, that is available to you as well. Um, please make sure you check your email in Canvas course shell. Um, email me through Canvas. I'll normally send emails to you guys as a class with updates, what's due, those kind of things through Canvas. So um, please email me and contact me through that. Um, make sure you do check Canvas on a regular basis. Being an online class, um, you know, some people, it's easy to forget you're in class if you don't have to be there at a certain time. Um, so make sure you really set a schedule for yourself and our discipline to know, you know here's when you're going to work on on this class and again I understand it may change every week but um, you know it is important to set that time out for yourself. Um, I will do my best to respond to emails within 24 hours during the week. Um, emails sent you know Friday afternoon through Sunday will receive responses on Monday. I do sometimes, sometimes triage my um, emails on the weekend so you know if there are assignments I do on Sunday you know, please don't wait till Sunday at 5 p.m. to email me a major question about an assignment that you just started that's due um, that night. Um, but, you know, I, if you're working on something and you've got a question about something that's due soon, I will try to answer it on the weekend as best as I can. Um, but it's best to look at things in advance. That way, um, any big questions you have, um, we can respond to earlier as well. So please do read those emails when they come out to you, too. Um, you can look over the course description of objectives. Um, my policies and procedures, um, you know, everything's online. I don't, there, there are some things that I may um, give partial credit for if they're late, um, but typically I, I don't accept late work. 
on that so you can go through and look at all of these items as well. Um, you can see the evaluation and grading scale so you'll have three exams and a final. Um, there'll be a dietary analysis project and then we have weekly assignments and discussion posts um, every week as well. Um, and this is our tentative course schedule so it's broken down into four units. Um, you can see listed when the exams will be available. Um, every assignment all the assignments, for the most part, are due Sunday night. There may be some that are longer that you have a little bit more time to do, but theoretically, every Sunday evening, you will have um, an assignment slash discussion for that week's topic due. So please make sure you give yourself adequate time to complete those. Um, so this will tell you what chapters to read and look over. Um, there will be lectures online recorded for each chapter as well, so please make sure you watch those as well. So let me go back. To our home page for you and to show you a little bit of what that looks like so uh, if you I don't know if you notice we're on the second edition of this textbook now so I um, have uh, updated the lectures so I'm working on this normally I'll post all everything for the unit at one time um, but right now I'm still finalizing the updates to some of the lectures so there's just the first weeks available to you but I will get caught up pretty soon so you'll have like when you have unit two, just all of those lectures will be available to you at the same time. Um, it will also show some assignments. So again, these are just the, the first two that are due. So you can see the due date underneath them. You can click on the assignment. This is a basic introduction discussion post. So just introduce yourself to your classmates. What do you want? Why are you taking this class? What do you hope to get out of it? Um, this will be used for our attendance since you have to uh, log on in the first week to be uh, counted as attended in an online class. So you can see those. There's also some supplemental information things I will post here. Um, and for each lecture, it is a, a YouTube video, and so you can watch it right in here. Um, and so, you know, once you're in here, make sure you do go through all of those. They're not too terribly long. You know, this class would be a three-hour class if it met in person. The, the lectures aren't three hours. Um, but it is important to... Watch those, um, get as much information from them as you can, just like if you were in class. I, it is helpful to explain a lot of these concepts to you. Um, over here you can see that your to-do list, which is also helpful. Um, and the last major thing I want to show you is getting into that Macmillan Learning. Now yours is going to look different than mine because I already have it, it um, you know, tied to my name. But you are going to go through this Macmillan Learning. You're going to click on Launchpad. And I have a document I'm going to upload for you with directions on this. Um, so it will allow you then to log in. They'll see if you already have an account. If not, you can create an account. It should not ask you for any code. You shouldn't have to pay for anything because you've already purchased this as your course fee. So you should just be able to get into that. Um, and then you'll see the ebook um, and some assignments and things like that. So hopefully that's kind of helpful. Um, I can walk through Launchpad more later. Um, if anyone has any more particular questions on that, don't hesitate to um, reach out to me. I'm happy to help you out with that as well. But hopefully it's just a quick overview of what you can expect from this class. Again, more information will be coming. I send out weekly emails with what to expect for that week. Um, but please make sure you stay on top of things. It's easy to let it slip with an online class. Um, Make sure you figure out when you're going to do this in your weekly schedule, and I look forward to a good semester. Thanks, guys.